my design started out as a line drawing and then I used Sharpies to go in and thicken those lines and color in some spaces so that I'll be able to carve around those black spaces um, on my linoleum. Once you have your Sharpie lines thickened and colored in, you are ready to get this design onto your linoleum. The first step is you gotta cut out the rectangle. Now my rectangle, like my drawing, is cut out so that it's the same size as my linoleum, which means that I'm ready to go ahead and do a carbon copy transfer. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold, oh, actually I don't have to hold it up to the light because it is Sharpie, so we can see exactly where we need to shade. You're gonna use an ebony pencil, which um, shades really quickly. If you turn it, and like, instead of coloring like this, where you're only coloring with the point, turn it and hold it with your finger like that, and you can shade that really quickly. You can cover all of those Sharpie parts. You don't have to shade any spaces that are like solid white. You just need to make sure and get the Sharpie covered. And then once I'm done giving it a good layer of pencil all over the Sharpie, I am ready to tape it to my linoleum. If you put a little bit of it on your hand, then it won't be too sticky. You'll tape it down to your linoleum. I would pick a spot that is mostly white to put the tape on, so you're not covering up your design. It'll keep it easier. It'll make it easier to um, trace. And then, once your design is taped onto your linoleum, you will be ready for the next step. Now that I've got my design taped onto my linoleum, I am ready to trace the outlines. So I would choose a pencil that is like not completely sharp, it's a little bit dull, because if you use a pencil that's very sharp, it could poke a hole through your paper and then it would damage the linoleum underneath. So if you have a pencil that is too sharp, you can just get one of those scrap papers that you use to cut out and kind of smooth it out so that it's more flat, okay? Um, you do not need to shade in your spaces right now. You are just tracing over the outlines. So we're gonna shade in with Sharpie on the actual linoleum. So all you have to do is trace around all of your black spaces. And if you wanna check and see if you've missed a spot, you can pull it back and you'll be able to easily see if you have gotten all of the lines in a certain place, kind of check on your work and see where you're at. So I have traced the outline of all of my black Sharpie spaces and I'm ready to go ahead and peel off my sketch and I wanna keep that sketch right next to my linoleum while I do the next step because sometimes it can get a little confusing. You can forget which part am I supposed to color in black and which part am I supposed to leave white. Um, so if you have that sketch right next to you, it'll make it easier to check in and remind yourself. So you're just gonna start, you get to decide if you wanna outline all of it first and then start coloring in you can do that or you could kind of color in one spot at a time and you want to really take your time on this spot on this step because um this is going to be what helps you to know what you need to carve out 
and what you want to leave. So don't rush this step. If you take your time here, it's gonna make the carving step way easier. You will be grateful that you uh, took your time. I wanted to show you a tip for when you're coloring in with the Sharpie, which is that sometimes you're gonna have a space that's really small. Like I've got this little sliver right here of white, right? If I trace right on top of my pencil line, I'm gonna end up with pretty much no white space left. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna take my Sharpie and I'm gonna trace outside the pencil line. And that way, when I color everything in, I'll have a big enough space that's left for me to use my linoleum cutter and carve out that white space. So when you're tracing over those lines, especially the teeny tiny spaces, like I've got two little white triangles right here, instead of tracing right on top of that pencil line, I'm gonna trace outside the pencil line. And that way, it'll be easier for me to carve for the next step. Once you have all of your spaces colored in with the Sharpie on your linoleum, the same way that it was in your sketch, you are officially ready for the next step where you will carve into the linoleum with your lino cutter.